Hello programmers, in this video I will show you how to install TensorFlow library in Windows without getting any OS error. Basically you get this OS error shown in your screen. So this is because the system cannot make a file named as a health check client.h because of the long path error. So to keep in this mind we will get the solution of this. So first you have to go to the Chrome I, I will provide the link in my description so you have to download this gpidate.msc file after downloading you have to open your open your path where you have downloaded the app so I have downloaded it here so you have to click and run as administrator click on yes after this it will open cmd and it will install gpidate.msc mine is already installed so i will not waste time i will close it and i will close this folder then you have to press window plus r key and you have to write gpidate.msc then you click ok then you have to go to computer config computer configuration then administrator templates then systems then you have to search systems then you have to go to enable bin 32 long paths then you have to click on enable you have to click on ok then you have to close this then again you have to press on the plus R then you have to write here R E V E D I T then you have to click on yes or this then you have to click on file system means uh, you have to go to on computer then H K Y local machine then you have to go on system then current control setting control file control file system you can see the path here so you have to search your file system click on this then you have to go on long path enabled then here the default is 0 so you have to delete and press 2 then press ok then all your settings have been applied then uh, you will restart your computer to apply this setting after restarting you will you will on right here pip install tensorflow you right here pip install tensorflow you can see here it will select tensorflow and it will install to sub 423 MB after installing you will get this sounding button do not uh, get intervention and it will all it will automatically install tensorflow 2.6.0 okay thank you